s velká odvláhem. Okay, uh, well, uh, first of all, I have to say that I lied to Johnny because uh, we at Cisnam use uh, Amazon Web Services as well. <laughs> but uh, we just experiment with that and uh, we, don't, we don't use it very uh, frequently. But it was just, just a remark. Okay, so I will, I will tell you something about A-B testing. Uh, I just saw just one guy from marketing, but... Uh, do you do do any A/B testing? How, how many of you? Okay. Okay, that's 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 perfect because I just well, uh, this is uh, this is uh, not a uh, talk for the A/B testing professionals. This is, let's say uh, more. Uh, this is uh, talk with uh, my experience with A/B testing and. Most of uh, the ideas are stolen from a uh, uh, tutorial in a CIGAR 2017 conference. Uh, so I really uh, recommend to, to go through this tutorial because it's it's free, it's, it's online, and I, I have a uh, URL in, in these slides. And I guess these slides will be published, right? Oh, right, super. So, uh, so I, I yes. uh, it, it was it was like a one one day tutorial. I now I have I don't know uh, 18 minutes, so so it's not possible to to shrink anything. So I, I will I will uh, just uh, focus on on things that uh, are for me interesting and hopefully uh, it will be useful for also. So what is A/B testing? Uh, okay, well, okay, as I said, uh, most of the content I, I stole from somewhere, so, and uh, I'm, I'm always try to, to cite the source, so this is uh, a picture from Optimizely. Uh, basically, you have two versions of your, for example, web page, one with a red button, one with green button, and you would like to know which version is better. Uh, of course, you can, uh, you can uh, do some Scientific, uh, or uh, it, you could you could you could measure it uh, with some knowledge, but you could also measure it on your users. And uh, in my in my opinion, uh, well, this is this is the most most effective way how to how to how to measure things and how, things and how to how to well know if, if your product actually works. So, so you have two versions, uh, and uh, you basically uh, observe the interactions of uh, the interaction between user and your system, and uh, with, with these interactions you do, you do some calculations, and these calculations tell you basically which system is better. So that's. Uh, Uh, that's what's, what's A-B testing. So basically you, you split your traffic randomly between two systems. One is called usually control and one is treatment. Uh, this is because uh, A-B testing has a long, long history. Well, I, I'm, I'm not, I won't talk about it much, but it's, it's from medicine and usually you would like to know which medicine actually works. So control treatment. <coughs> And you observe uh, the interactions to so collect some metrics, for example, clicks, uh, CTRs, clicks through rate. Uh, you measure how many users actually stop using your product because you know its red buttons are ugly, and so on. And then you then you analyze the, these uh, these uh, metrics. Uh, okay. Uh, these uh, A-B tests are called uh, differently in uh, some uh, scientific papers. They are, they are called flights in, in uh, Microsoft papers, 1% test in Google, bucket test in Yahoo, uh, field test uh, by Facebook. Sorry, it's, it's just uh, it's under, under this. <laughs> Not sure why. Okay. Anyway, so... Um, there are many, many, uh, uh, 
many names for the same thing. Okay. So why? Why you would you, would you do that? Uh, so as I said, this is uh, uh, these next I don't know, six slides are from this tutorial. It's xpplatform.com. It's actually Microsoft site. Uh, yeah, they, at Microsoft they have really uh, super scientists and uh, Microsoft research is really good source to. To, to see. I'm always surprised how, how this super scientist make a statue or operating system. Okay, anyway. Uh, we are bad at assessing the values of ideas. It's, it's really hard to, when, uh, when you have an idea, uh, it's really hard to assess uh, the actual value. Uh, there's a story from Bing, Bing uh, Microsoft uh, uh, web search engine. And they had a very simple idea, uh, just to add uh, a few words to uh, to the advertisements from the from the text. And this simple idea, just to add, I, I think, three words, and uh, it was just an idea, and no one no one cared. It was just a random idea. And after they said, I don't know, three or four months, they implemented this idea. Do then the the I beta e beta thing and then some uh, red red light uh, started blink started to blink because they discovered they they are earning too much money. It was like a 12 12 percent increase in income and usually this is not usual. This is a really rare situation, but it was. Uh, Apparently uh, this was this was true, and now they are using these uh, longer adverts, uh, and it, it was uh, 120 million dollars per year in income, and they they postponed it for four months. So so the guy told told us it was well it, it's hundreds of millions of dollars just because they didn't uh, A/B test it uh, in, uh, in in the right time. So we have, uh, we are really bad to assessing what what the idea is good or bad. Uh, we have many ideas, and most of them are bad. And uh, it's uh, it's really difficult to to say which idea is good or bad. Uh, another number, well, it's it's a little bit uh, old number, but I, I think it's it's still it's still it's ten percent from so so Google has uh, something like. 12,000 uh, experiments, uh, and only 10 percent of these experiments were well, led to, to change in uh, in uh, well, they they go in business, but it was it was things like uh, button positions, uh, well, many things on, on their on their search. So we have again uh, we have many ideas, and it's really difficult to. Them, so this is where A/B testing really, really helps. Okay, uh, this graph shows uh, Bing, Bing experiments uh, during time. Uh, it uh, well, the number it's not really important. Uh, the thing is that uh, at some point. Uh, I think it was end of 2014. They were no no longer able to <laughs> implement actually their ideas. They are limited by number of engineers they had, and uh, so uh, so uh, the, the 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 number the, okay the the, the y axis is number of tests and this time so they they uh, do a lot of lot of uh, a b testing uh, each week this is uh, a b test per week and now they have like 400 tests per week so they test a lot and it really uh, it, it's, uh, it's it's really important for a business like uh, being web search so this is uh, an experience for Microsoft and uh, okay, yeah, this is uh, different numbers. So uh, 
from this year they run something like 1,000 experiments every month. And they, uh, they run 15 experiments uh, in parallel, which seems to be a silly idea, because you know, then you don't know what they are testing. But it's, uh, it's, it's possible to do that. Uh, interesting thing is that uh, uh, because of these uh, parallel experiments, they have something like 30 billion variants of, of one search engine page. <laughs> yes, I see a question. Uh, how do you get uh, 30 billion uh, different users? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. That's yeah, exactly. Uh, where does the five at the bottom I, come from? Excuse me. The five at the bottom. I mean, the experiments. It it the fifteen ABCD. makes sense, but where does the five come from? Ah, yeah. Um, because they don't do A B testing only, but A B C D E testing actually. Ah. <laughs> well, okay. There are well, okay. There, there are a lot of a lot of details. Uh, okay, well, well, uh, we'll get uh, 30 billion users. Um, uh, that's, it doesn't have to be 30 billion users, but yeah. there have to be certain amount of users. Uh, yeah, to, make to, it to have, yeah, yeah, to, yeah, to have the. I, I will, I will talk about this. Uh, how important it is to to um, to have good statistics uh, behind your A/B testing, because uh, okay, this this number is. Uh, Artificial, right? It's it's uh, they are not testing every every uh, variant from 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 this uh, 30 billion number, uh, and it, of course you have to you have to run uh, enough uh, experiments to, to have uh, statistically significant numbers. So yeah, but you are you are right. Okay, at Booking.com. Uh, that was I, I just I just wrote it down. They it, it was uh, there was a question. Uh, what what is uh, what, what the idea has to has to have uh, how how good the idea should be to 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 make it to the A/B test in Booking.com? And the guy told us it's if it compiles it it goes to A/B test. So, <laughs> so, don't be surprised to, to see strange things on booking home. <laughs> okay, uh, as I said, at being they run 15 experiments uh, uh, in parallel, uh, you, can, you could uh, run these experiments one by one, one by one, but this is really slow. And even if you are big, you have millions of users, it's uh, not possible. It's uh, it's just too slow because uh, uh, every each experiment have to have to uh, uh, collect some some amount of, of users or interactions, and uh, it would be really too slow. So so. The message here is run non-overlapping experiments. It's possible to do that. And uh, in the tutorial, there is a really, really nice uh, trick how to, how, to, how to implement it. It's kind of hashing, hashing technique, and you could uh, basically, basically uh, you, you hash your parts of the test. And so, so, so then if, if you test one thing, then you know that this user has only this test. And you can, can distinguish between, between between this test. I, I really recommend this uh, this part in the tutorial because uh, it, uh, it it really helps helps you to save uh, to save your traffic. Okay, so um, what actually what do you measure? With A/B testing, it's uh, this is a crucial part. Uh, it could be, as I as I said, it could be clicks, it could be CTR, but uh, it it, it uh, should be something that you can uh, measure. It seems to be obvious, <laughs> but sometimes uh, it's not that uh, uh, it's not that that easy. Uh, for example. 
at Cisnon we have uh, we have a service for web shops, uh, and uh, uh, these uh, what uh, these web shops actually uh, would like to increase their uh, their revenue, but we don't see we don't see it. So we have some mechanisms on how to measure it, but we most most of the time we, we just do some estimations. And it's not a good idea to, to do A-B testing on just on estimations. Do A-B testing on things that you can directly measure. This is, this is really important. Um, remark uh, here is that uh, the KPIs some uh, can, can be really bad uh, metrics because KPIs are usually measured for, I don't know, weeks or months and these are Let's say high level, high level metrics uh, that you report to your CEO or top management. But well, uh, it's uh, it could be really bad, <laughs> bad metric. Uh, again, the, the the good metric is, is really it's really important to um, to evaluate A/B testing. And always do significant tests. Uh, it's uh, this is uh, well, I I cannot stress it. Enough. Uh, usually, well, I, I see it even it says now we have well we have uh, 14 million queries per day, which seems to be enough. But uh, well, we we see many tests are not uh, statistically significant, and I ask uh, uh, these guys from uh, Bing and. Uh, and booking call, and then they told me that most of the tests they run, they are not statistic statistically significant, even if they have uh, millions of users. Uh, that's because uh, uh, if if uh, if you are mm, uh, uh, if if you are uh, uh, looking for a really small change, for example. Uh, for example, in your clicks on your adverts or, or things like that, then you have to have uh, really a lot of lot of data. Okay, so this was uh, this were uh, experience from uh, 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 Bing and Booking, and uh, I just uh, uh, show you some uh, in, in a little detail how how we do. Uh, A/B testing in uh, Cessnam web search. Uh, we don't test uh, this. Uh, we call it 50/50. /50. Uh, it means that you show the red apple or um, green apple and measure uh, uh, how how user interact with the apple. And uh, it, it's it's very really difficult. Uh, uh, just on a you know, staring and, and someone and uh, and uh, well, uh, if just just to say, okay, uh, we we have the the red one, the red version, and it it has more clicks, but these clicks were slower, and so so it's it's really difficult uh, for a general web search. And instead of that, we use something what's called team draft interleaving, uh, which means that basically we show a mixed apple, and uh, the user actually uh, can can choose uh, which part of, of the apple um, eats, let's say, and uh, we we do some statistic above above this. Um, I know that this is difficult to imagine, so I have uh, <laughs> stolen another slide from Yandex. <laughs> and uh, okay, so this is uh, these are um, web search result version one, web search result version version two. Uh, this uh, we see that this A is is in, in bold, and what we do we mix we mix these two uh, two results into one result and this result is shown to the user uh, I again I won't go to the detail uh, how to how, how to how to make this uh, mixture of, of uh, these two 
web results. But the thing is that uh, the user see both version A and B together. And the user clicks on some of these results and we, we see that he, uh, he choose just the version A or B because he clicks on a, red, uh, on a blue or yellow. So, so uh, then actually th these two versions are not shown, are not, uh, it, it's, uh, it's up to user to, uh, to, to choose. Well, okay. The, the the magic here is how to actually how to, how to make this mix, mixture because uh, usually the top top results are more more clicked. So you have to uh, do do this in a clever way to have the to have the, the, the right numbers there. <coughs> okay. So uh, these are some tips. Uh, this is really a uh, 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 good sentence from George Box, statistician, uh, uh, statistician from the United States. Uh, well, uh, actually, you um, all you do are you are modeling the user, uh, so you don't know the true usually. So and so you know that all models are, are wrong. Okay, so it's it's just. <laughs> That, but some models are useful. It's it's really uh, uh, what uh, so this AP testing uh, all about. Uh, really, in, uh, really useful technique is uh, to run AA test. What's so so called AA test? It means that uh, you have your AB testing infrastructure, and uh, you plug uh, two identical systems in there. So know that there, there should be no differences. And usually you see, I don't know, statistically, statistically significant difference. So you know that there's some problem in your, in your computation, in your statistic, uh, even in whatsoever. The AA testing is, is really important. Uh, usually when we have uh, some, uh, free, uh, some free traffic, we run AA test because uh, it helps a lot. Uh, don't run your A-B tests on uh, non-user traffic. It's, again, it seems obvious, but uh, sometimes it's not that easy. Uh, because then you measure just uh, programs and programs of... Uh, it could be uh, the case that you are optimizing for some robots, but it's not a usual case. So, so filter filter out your your traffic only to, to humans and then maybe do A/B tests or only on, on that. Uh, there are variants that uh, if you are well depends if you are able to detect non-user traffic. Okay, so for example, in says now it's sometimes really difficult. Uh, so. Uh, Experiment on humans, it's, it really works. Uh, be really skeptic. Uh, if you, if some of your test reports a huge, uh, huge uh, increase on revenue or something, well, it, usually it's uh, an error in your, <laughs> in your statistic or in, in your program. Uh, prevent interaction of tests. That's uh, that's really important one. Uh, it's uh, it's possible to do to do uh, tests in parallel, but you have to know what you are doing and do significance tests, uh, confidence interval, compute confidence interval, and effect size because uh, without it you can can just uh, you know, uh, flip a coin and <laughs> it will be the same. Okay, that's all for me. Thanks. Let's say two 
web search engines. So these are results from, I don't know, Yandex. These are results from Bing. And uh, <laughs> you would like to know, you would like to know which uh, which search engine is better. So you show the user the picture picture of these two uh, of these two search engines, and you just okay. I know that this was the result from Bing. This was the result from Yandex, and and the user usually clicks. And uh, well, okay. Uh, the clicks are here uh, as a uh, it, the, the clicks are here as the as a measure of uh, let's say satisfaction. So so if you use a clicks on yellow, then the yellow search engine has point. If you, if it clicks on blue, then blue, blue one. Uh, it could be that uh, the case that, for example, first three results are the same. So then there is a special color on, on that, and you, you come tie. So okay, it was the answer. How do you make sure that the user sees the same version every time? Why am I asking? Let's say that you A/B test price of your product or discount of your product, whatever. User may remember what what price you've shown him before. So how? Uh, how do you make sure that every time he refreshes, he doesn't see a different price because yeah, well, you're A B testing? Well, in 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 uh, well, let's say web world, well, you can use some kind of cookie or something like that. Uh, if you have an application, well, then you have everything under under your control. So, uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, yeah. Uh, this is uh, important that when you use it, come again and. For example, time the same query in. It's it's uh, good to show the user the same result as before. So yeah, so that says now we have some. We call it the long term cookie. So that's it. Uh, in the DR, do you have to use some personal information? Yes. Yeah, because uh, you know, does the humans mean that you have to recognize that? Uh, some human got tickets and some got ticket for example. Yeah. Right? It's the basic distinction yes. between two kinds of humans yeah. that you got. That, uh, but we most don't need of, to, Most okay. of the testings are at least dependent on the two. Yeah. Like yeah. But we don't need, uh, well, in this case, we don't need anything else about the users. So. No. So it's just an ID. <laughs> ah, it doesn't uh, agree that you don't need to know. We just do test this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, and with this topic, uh, how do you, or do you um, somehow try to figure out that the same user is connecting from different device? Uh, okay, that's another story. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah, but that's that's another story. Uh, we don't usually A-B testing. A-B tests on, uh, it's too complicated, I think, to, to do an A-B test that would uh, require a user from multiple devices. It, uh, well, it would be possible, uh, but, uh, uh, so, yeah, well, we, okay, uh, to answer the question, we detect it, but we don't use it for A-B testing. Okay. It's, it's, and is there actually any point to uh, show the same result to the same user because uh, I would imagine that on the other hand it would be more useful to show the same user different results and uh, uh, put some relevance if the user choose the same results uh, in different order it's significant but if the user clicks on the first link provided uh, basically these two measurements has no significance at all so I don't see any relevance to show the same results to the same user well, yeah, that's, that could be one approach, but, um, well, the user would be confused. That's our experience. You remember uh, the order of uh, search uh, uh, result? I do, then. Well, but, okay, the, 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 the search result, I can, I can imagine that. 
uh, but for example, let's say that you ha you have uh, the the blue and green button. So, yeah. so but then it's it's really confusing. That, okay, every reload you have a different color. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, maybe okay. It, it depends how 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 long, for example, you store the user ID and, and so. But uh, we we try to, to show the same user the same. User. And we don't differentiate the means area wise. We don't means we choose the one area and distribute this testing. Okay. Well, sorry, I'm geography. Geography. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, geography. We, we are. 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 We <laughs> Do you have some surprising uh, results from testing something that you really didn't uh, uh, meant to discover and it was discovered uh, by accident? Well, I'm, I don't know if by accident, but we have some super surprising results with uh, uh, adverts. Uh, we, we did a lot of A-B testing with the user interface and the user interface actually affects a lot uh, to the, the, the click-through ratio. ratio. It's, it's amazing, just, uh, just the color of the link can have a, a percent, one or two percent. It's, it's incredible. You know, and uh, one person for us, it's 10 million check counts. So it's <laughs> just, just if you change the color from orange to, uh, to uh, lighter orange. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible. So we had, for me, this uh, these uh, user interface things are like colors were really surprising. But I'm 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 not a uh, uh, use guy at all. So maybe they are obvious. For but this was caused by the fact that uh, the A or B version looks less like an advertisement and more look like nature. I don't think so. I don't think so, because in my eyes it looks like more like uh, it, and uh, yet, <laughs> so so I don't know, I, I, well, I don't know, but for me it was surprising, so that's why I don't know. So that raises an interesting question, what if the user is looking at a selection of red links versus a selection of green links, and then you're giving him an option of a combination of red and green, and expecting something, there's going to be favoritism just because it's green, and then when you show them all green, well, really, that hasn't meant anything. Uh, is there any way of taking that into account? Well, uh, okay, well, we don't, we don't, uh, in the colors, we, we don't, uh, uh, we don't use this thin uh, dark uh, interleaving, right? So. Uh, we just we just use one color, so it's uh, yeah. So you're aware of what the test will mean to the user, and you select a different test. Yeah. yeah, sure. yeah. Um, is there a like hypothesis um, connected to the test so that you at the start you assume that it might give you 0.5 percent increase in some activity? And then if yeah. and is there and the second question would be is there an automation for you like you automatically evaluate the result or every result is manually yeah checked? yeah yeah sure we have uh, okay so so the hypothesis hypothesis uh, the basic uh, hypothesis here is so called null null hypothesis which is that both systems are the same and. Uh, then, uh, uh, to be honest, I don't know. Well, we uh, there are two things. Two things. Like, so, uh, first of all, there there should be significant uh, difference between the systems, and then uh, if it actually brings the value we expected at the beginning. So, sometimes it uh, works to implement it. In a, sometimes not. Yeah, so. It's uh, it depends. It depends. 
and uh, yeah, we we do these evaluations automatically. Uh, well, we don't have uh, correct uh, statistics, the correct maths everywhere, so I, I know that, and I'm not happy. <laughs> but that's that's the uh, sometimes uh, difficult. <laughs> And uh, but yeah, yeah, we, we, we evaluate all these tests automatically, and uh, then actually, then some person looks and peers at these results, and they make some decisions based on this. Are you reusing the data from one test uh, somewhere in the future? So, if I did one uh, AB testing. Uh, is there a chance to reinstall those data such that uh, I can use it uh, in some future experiments? Does it make well, sense? Well, yeah, we have, uh, well, we have, uh, for our web search, we have logs. So we have all of these data in our logs. But usually it's difficult for them to compare to grants. So it's very really difficult. Well, uh, it's possible, but I don't think that it's. Uh, so, so uh, but yeah, we have we have the data. We have we have the logs and we can the compute the values. I see there are a lot of lot of more questions. Uh, I think we can post them home then to the beer part, which is like the you know <laughs> The half of the event. <laughs> and I really thank you very much for your. So now please stay here until the late, you know, 3, by 3 a.m. or something like that. And as far as we can go, thanks to the <laughs> lady up there. And uh, enjoy the beer and rest of the evening. And uh, I will be here with you and okay, most probably too, and other talk speakers too. So enjoy it. And the next session, as I said before, will be in January, February, February. Okay. So thank you. Thank you.